In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a specific horizontal dotted line or horizontal line for the grid lines where we start from one point and end halfway. So to do this, the first thing what we need is to get a border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. If you want to get the source code of this video or many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel. All these links are in the description box. So the first thing what I would like to do here is to hide these lines here that we have connected to the Y scale. So I say comma on the Y scale and then I'm going to say your grid and we just say your display set to false. Let's save that, refresh, there we are. So now what I would like to do is create lines specifically somewhere here all the way to Friday at the end and then for certain values here. So let's say from the value 6 to 12 we have all these lines here. To do this, I need to create a custom plugin. So I say plugins, and I'm going to say your horizontal segment line. And I'm going to copy this, and let me say here, constant this equals the ID of our horizontal segment line. And then we're going to say here, before data sets draw, say chart arcs plugin options. And then within here, we're going to say a constant we need to have here an object destructuring CTX and then we have the scales, specifically the X and Y scales will be needed. And we say here, chart. All right, so once we did this, what I want to do now is, first of all, CTX.save to save all variables above and start drawing. So the first thing what I need is I need to get the coordinates for this. And in this case, I'm going to assume you have here a category axis. If you have a different axis, that would mean a different structure, but I'm going to build you specifically for the category axis. So what I want to do here, first of all, is console log, say X, save, refresh. All right, so once we did this, you can see here, this is the category axis or category scale. It recognizes it. If I go down, you see here somewhere the type, uh, let's see, type, there we are category. This is very important for me. I'm going to work with this and I'll show you later on why. So the first thing what I would like to do here is basically say an if statement and say if x type equals strict category, category, in that case, if this is true, then do the following here. In this case, I'll just do a console log, put it in here and what I want to do next we should be able to get our information. And next, what I would like to do here now is, um, let's see, we get the tick details here. You can see all the values, but I would like to get the Y details. That's in this case, for me, very important because we're going to work with the Y coordinates. So I need to grab all the Y coordinates, but also every tick here is not a number one, two, three, four, five. You see here, it has an increment. I need to make sure that I get the right value matching with that uh, with the step size of our incremental scale. This is very important, especially for different type of scales. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab these numbers and then start to draw lines. So let's start to work on this. So what I'm going to do here, I'll say a constant. Well, instead of constant, I think we can just do a for each. We're going to grab all of these ticks here. Say here, um, let's say here that y dot ticks dot for each and then what I would like to do here is just say here for every tick and the index make sure we have this so we have this here and then we do here a function error expression and then in here we can loop through this and what we would like to do is two things we want to start somewhere here from beginning of Tuesday all the way to end of Friday. To do that, first of all, we say a constant, and we can say here, this is the Y coordinate, and the Y coordinate in this case would be Y.get pixel for the value, and the value in this case would be whatever the tick dot value shows. So then what I need to do here now is start to work around with the X coordinate. So let's start to draw a line and then we can see how this all 
fits together. So I say ctx.begin path because I'm going to say I'm going to create a line or a shape that's independent of anything else. Then what I want to do here is I'm going to say ctx, uh, well, what I want to do is I want to make it the line thickness. So I say ctx line width, give it a three pixel of thickness. Then what I would like to do is the color ctx.stroke style for the color. And in this case, for the color, I just grabbed the very first or the last value of the borderline, which is a black value. It's a black line. Then what I want to do is I want to give the starting coordinate. So I say ctx.move to, and then this will be the x and y coordinate. For now, we do know that every y tick should have a line. For the x, we're not yet sure where to start, but we know it's beginning of Tuesday. So how do we get this? Well, let's start to uh, do some work on this. So I say constant, I say yeah, x start, because we need to have the starting coordinate, and that will be x dot get pixel for value and that would be in this case number or index number one however because this is a category axis this is one we will start exactly here in the center and this is zero however i'll show you that later on i'll explain that later but let's first put these in here so we have a visual so we say here x end and then here, what I would like to do here is to end it at Friday. That's the purple one. So this is one, two, three, four. So that's index four as the value. So what I'm going to do here is X start, put here. Then I can say here, colon, and then CTX dot um, line two. And sorry, I said here column, but it's semicolon. There yeah, as well, semicolon. Then you say here, X end comma y coordinate once we did this the command to draw we say ctx dot stroke to draw the line save refresh there we are and as you can see here it is working nicely but i have a feeling we are behind so what i would like to do here well although this is fine if you want to be on top of it you can say here yeah, after we draw the data sets we will draw this line but in, in my opinion right now i think being behind would be more practical although i feel that this line should be more uh, brighter in color maybe 0 0.5 to make it a bit more transparent translucent there we are you can see it's more behind it all right as you can see here we're starting here or we're starting here in the middle and ending in the middle how do we solve that well basically here we need to say because that's the difference this is zero or this is one and this is zero to be between there is 0 0.5 difference so what I need to do here is just say for the beginning I have to deduct it with 0 0.5. If I save that, refresh, there we are. And then for the ending, we have to do plus 0 0.5. Save, because we want to move a little bit further. There we are. This is only necessary if we have the category axis or category scale. Other scales work with, like the linear, will work with numbers. So then you don't have to add any other item here or additional values. So once we have this, what if you wanted to have uh, dotted lines? So let's make that. We're going to say ctx dot set line dash. And then we can say here, I want six pixels solid and then six pixels white space. Save that, refresh, and now we have a dotted line. However, if you look very carefully, you will see that everywhere else, the dotted line is being bleeding over to other items. And as usually with begin path, we avoid that, but this here, we need to put back here and reset this to zero or basically to blank. Don't put zero, but put it blank, like a blank array. It will understand that then the uh, dotted line will be removed. So go back here, refresh. No, oh, then I save it properly. Uh, set line dash, hold on, let me double check. Oh, sorry, of course, yes, this is correct. You will see here, it will now be only applied on the line we draw. But if you look very carefully here, let's oh, hold on, let's zoom in here. You will see there's no more dotted lines on any other area. So that means this is the way to go. And there we are. And that's it.